Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. I have a fun new pattern here for St. Patrick's Day. Who doesn't want some of the luck of the Irish? So here is my four leaf clover dishcloth. This was a special request from one of my subscribers who wanted to start doing a theme for the holidays. We did the heart dishcloth for Valentine's Day. She wanted to do a four leaf clover for St. Patrick's Day to make some for her friends. So here's the pattern. This pattern only uses less than an ounce. It used like 0.7 ounces to make this pattern. Now I use peaches and cream and this is color forest green. Now there's 2.5 ounces in here so you should be able to get three dishcloths out of one ball of yarn. Now I didn't work up the whole ball yet but I know you can get at least two. So you're going to need at least a half a ball to get you started to make this and you're going to need a size 10 and a half K 6.5 millimeter hook. I'm using a big hook for this. The nice thing about this dishcloth it's only five rounds around. It works up extremely quick. This dishcloth measures eight inches across by eight and a half inches up and down due to the stem it's a little bit longer so eight by eight and a half inches so I'm going to go ahead and get my yarn attached to my hook and I'll be right back and we'll get this quick project started I have my yarn tied around my hook and we're going to start by chaining four yarn over the hook and pull it through the loop you tied on your hook that's your first chain the loop on your hook does not count as a chain so that's one yarn over the hook pull it through the loop that's two chains yarn over the hook pull it through the loop that's three chains yarn over the hook pull it through the loop that's four we're going to go down into our first chain that we made and we're going to slip stitch our chain together to form a ring so insert your hook into that first chain yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. We just made our circle. So we're going to be working our stitches right into the center of that ring <clears throat> and we're going to work it just like the beginning of a granny square. So we're going to start round one with a chain three. One, two, three. This counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work two double crochet in the center of our ring and what I do is I just hold this little snibbling of yarn right against my work and I'll work my stitches right around that and it weaves it right in. So yarn over the hook, insert it into the center of that ring, yarn over the hook, pull it through the ring, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your double crochet. I'll show you one more time step by step. Yarn over the hook, you're going to insert it into that center of that ring, front to back. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that ring, three loops on hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. So we have our beginning chain three that counts as the first double crochet and then we have two more double crochet. So now we're going to make our corner and that's a chain two. So let's chain two, one, and two. So our repeat around will be we're going to work three double crochet in the center of the ring and then we're going to chain two and we're going to do that three times. So yarn over the hook, insert it into the center of that ring and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same ring and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it in the center of that ring, and work your third double crochet. 
we're going to chain two for the corner one and two and that is the end of our repeat so we need to do that two more times yarn over the hook you're going to insert into the center of that ring and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook insert it into that ring and work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert it into center of that ring and work your third double crochet we're going to chain two for the corner one two and you have to keep turning your work as you're going because you are working in the round so we have one more side to go so yarn over the hook insert it into the ring and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook insert it in the center of that ring and work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert it into the center of that ring and work your third double crochet we're at our final corner so we need to chain two one two and we're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of our beginning chain three so count from the bottom up one two three insert your hook yarn over the hook pull it through all loops on your hook you just slip stitched round one together and this is what your work should look like you should have three your beginning chain three and two double crochet chain two three double crochet and you should have done that three more times for a total of four around round one so I'll be right back to get round two started so for round two we need to slip stitch across these stitches and come over to this next corner chain two space so insert your hook you're going to skip this beginning stitch you're already in and insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over the hook pull it through the stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook insert your hook into that next double crochet yarn over the hook pull it through the stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook you're just slip stitching across we need to be in this corner chain two space so insert your hook in that corner chain two space yarn over the hook pull it back through that corner chain two space and back through the loop on your hook so now we're where we want to be to start round two so to start round two we're going to start in chain one this does not count as a stitch we're going to work one single crochet a half double crochet two double crochet a half double crochet and a single crochet in each chain two space around and you'll be skipping these three double crochet so let me get started this is the start of your repeat insert your hook into that chain two space and you're going to work a single crochet yarn over the hook pull it through two loops on hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops that's your first single crochet now we need to make a half double crochet so yarn over the hook insert it into that same chain two space yarn over the hook pull it back through that chain two space you have three loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops you just made your first half double crochet now we need to make two double crochet all in this same chain two space and you can just pull those stitches back to make room for the rest of the stitches so yarn over the hook insert it into that same corner chain two space yarn over the hook pull it back through that chain two space you have three loops on the hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops only yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops you just made your first double crochet of the two we need to make one more double crochet yarn over the hook insert it into that same corner chain two space yarn over the hook pull it back through three loops on hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops only 
yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your second double crochet. So now to finish this first repeat, we need to make one half double crochet and one single crochet yet in the same corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that same corner chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it back through the chain two space. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops. You just made your half double crochet. Insert your hook into that same corner chain 2 space and we're working a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it back through that space, two loops on hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. So that is your repeat and what we're doing is we're making our four petals of our four leaf clover. So this is our first petal. So I'll show you one more time and then you can finish around your four leaf clover. We're going to skip, this is the beginning of your repeat, you're going to skip these three double crochet. You're going to insert your hook into that next corner chain two space and you're going to work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook and you're going to work a half double crochet in that same corner chain two space. Next, we're going to work two double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same corner chain two space, and work your first double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same corner chain two space, and work your second double crochet. To finish our repeat, we need to work a half double crochet and a single crochet yet in the same corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert it in that corner chain two space and work your half double crochet. Insert your hook into that corner chain two space and work a single crochet. This is the end of your repeat. So again, you can finish going around. You're going to skip these next three double crochet. You're going to work a single crochet, a half double crochet, two double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet in each of the corner chain two spaces to form your, form your petals. So go ahead and do the next two. I will meet you at the end of round two and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round two and I'm getting ready to slip stitch my work together. So we just worked in that last corner chain two space. We're going to skip these three double crochet. We're going to come clear over here to our beginning single crochet. Remember, do not count that chain one. We're going right into the top of that beginning single crochet. So insert your hook into the top of that single crochet kind of pull it over and make sure it's nice and snug, yarn over the hook and slip stitch, pull your hook through all loops on your hook and you just join and you have your four petals of your four leaf clover. So when you see the instructions, if you get the instructions, this is the petals that I refer to in the instructions. So to start round three, we're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet into this beginning single crochet. So insert your hook in that same beginning stitch and work a single crochet. We're going to work a single crochet into this next half double crochet. So insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. And again, this is the start of the repeat where we made our first single crochet and the petal was the start of the repeat and then we made another single crochet. So now we're going to work a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet all in this next stitch. So insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook insert your hook into that same stitch and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, 
insert your hook into that same stitch and we're working a double crochet. For the next stitch we're going to work a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet all in this next stitch. We're just reversing what we just did. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch under both loops, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. Insert into that same stitch and work a single crochet. We're going to work a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. and now you're down around your first petal. That was your first repeat. So when you look, you can see that this is the first single crochet of that next petal. So we're just going to repeat what we just did around the other three petals. So I'll show you one more time. So if you need to, put a stitch marker into this stitch that you make here as the beginning of your repeat. We're going to single crochet in each of these next two stitches. So insert your hook and work a single crochet into that next stitch. The first single crochet of that petal. We're going to single crochet into this next stitch. So as you can see, that was two single crochet starts our repeat of the next petal. We're going to work a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet into this next stitch. So insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch and work a double crochet. Now we're going to work the reverse. We're going to work one double crochet, one half double crochet, and one single crochet into this next stitch. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that same stitch and work a single crochet. We're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches to finish our repeat. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. And that is the end of your repeat. And you can see how your petals are getting larger. So go ahead and work that repeat around the other two sides and I will meet you at the end of round three. And if you're not sure how I, if you don't remember how I did that, just click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat and just follow me through until you get to the end of round three and I'll show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round three and this is what your work should look like. You can see you have your four petals. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slip stitch together into that first single crochet. Remember, do not count this chain one as a stitch. You go right up here to your single crochet, go under both loops of that stitch, yarn over the hook, and pull it through all loops on your hook. You just slip stitched round three together. So for round four, we're going to chain one. 
Now this is going to be the start of our repeat. So when you make this first single crochet, you may want to mark that stitch to show you the, the start and finish of your repeat. We're going to single crochet into the same beginning single crochet. So you go right into the same stitch that you slip stitched into to join your round and you're going to work a single crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into this next stitch. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch and work a half double crochet. We're going to work a double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. We're going to work two triple crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into that next stitch, and work your first triple crochet. Yarn over the hook twice, insert it into that same stitch, and work your second triple crochet. We're going to work one triple, one double crochet, and one single crochet all in this next stitch. So yarn over the hook twice, Insert it into that next stitch and work your triple crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch and work a double crochet. You're going to insert your hook into that same stitch and you're going to work a single crochet. Now we're going to do the reverse in the next stitch. We're going to work a single crochet, a double crochet, and a triple crochet into this next stitch. So insert your hook into that stitch and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook twice, insert it into that same stitch, and work a triple crochet. We're going to work two triple in this next stitch. Yarn over the hook twice, insert it into that next stitch, and work your first of two triple. That's one, yarn over the hook twice, insert into that same stitch, and work your second triple crochet. We're going to work a double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into this next stitch. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. And to finish our repeat, we're going to work a single crochet in the last single crochet of the petal. So insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. And you can see how the dip in your petal is forming for the four leaf clover. So that is our repeat. I will take you through it one more time. So make sure you mark the round or you can just click back on the video to keep repeating it until you get around round four. Okay, to start the repeat, we're going to work a single crochet into this next stitch. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. 
yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch, and work your half double crochet. We're going to work a double crochet into this next stitch, yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. We're going to work two triple in this next stitch, so yarn over the hook twice, insert it into that next stitch, and work your first triple of the two. Yarn over the hook twice, insert it into that same stitch, and work your second triple crochet. We're going to work one triple, one double crochet, and one single crochet all in this next stitch. So yarn over the hook twice, insert into that next stitch, and work a triple crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. Insert your hook into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Now we're going to do the reverse. We're going to work one single crochet, one double crochet, and one triple crochet all in this next stitch. So insert your hook in that next stitch and work your single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into that same stitch, and work a triple crochet. We're going to work two triple in this next stitch, yarn over the hook twice, insert into that next stitch, and work your first triple of the two. There's one. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into that same stitch, and work your second triple. We're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, and work a half double crochet. And we're going to finish our repeat with a single crochet into the next stitch. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how we're starting to get that four leaf clover look with the little dip in our clover. So go ahead and repeat your repeat around the other two petals. I will meet you at the end of round four. And again, if you cannot remember all those stitches, click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat. Finish it around and I will meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four and this is what your work should look like. You can see we're starting to get our little dip in our petals. It's starting to look more like a four leaf clover. We're going to come up and we're going to join right in the top of that beginning single crochet. So insert your hook under the two loops of that first beginning single crochet of round four. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. So now we need to mark our beginning single crochet. So if you have a stitch marker, just stick it right in that stitch. I just use a small piece of yarn. So I just take my yarn and I just pull it right through so I know where that beginning stitch was. Okay, we're going to skip this single crochet and we're going to slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. So insert your hook into the next stitch. You're skipping this beginning single crochet. 
we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through the stitch. Now this is the beginning of our repeat with our first slip stitch. So you may want to mark this first slip stitch with a different color stitch marker. This will be the beginning of our round and this will be the beginning of the repeat. So if you need to mark that, go ahead and mark it as the start of your repeat. You need to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. You just slip stitched in that next stitch. So now we're going to single crochet into the next stitch, insert your hook, in the next stitch and work a single crochet. We need to work a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a triple crochet all into this next stitch. So insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook twice, insert it into that same stitch and work a triple crochet. We're going to work three triple crochet into this next stitch. So yarn over your hook twice, insert into that next stitch, and work your first triple crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into that same stitch, and work your second triple crochet. That's two. Yarn over your hook twice, insert into that same stitch, and work your third triple crochet. We're going to work one double crochet and one half double crochet into this next stitch. So yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. We're going to work a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet and a double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. We're going to work three triple crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook twice, insert into that next stitch, and work a triple crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook twice, insert it into that same stitch, and work your second triple crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook twice, insert it into that same stitch, and work your third triple crochet. We're going to work one triple, one double crochet, one half double crochet, and one single crochet all into this next stitch. So yarn over the hook twice, insert into that next stitch, and work your triple crochet.
yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Now we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Insert your hook in that next stitch and work a single crochet. We're going to slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. So insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. You're going to insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over the hook, and pull it through all loops on your hook. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches. You're going to start your next repeat into the next stitch. So this was our repeat. From I don't have my stitch marker on, but this was our beginning stitch. The next stitch was where you placed your stitch marker to show where the repeat started, and then you worked over to the end of your petal. You skip these next two stitches. You start your repeat into the next stitch. So click back on the video and just remember to skip the next two stitches and start your repeat in the next stitch. I will meet you at the end of round five when you finish your next three petals. So I'm over at the end of round five and you can see we now have our four leaf clover. So we're just going to come up here and we're going to join in our joining stitch where you have your first stitch marker. So just insert your hook where your stitch marker is yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through your loop on your hook. You just slip stitched round five together. So now we're going to make our stem. So you just do not fasten off, you're just going to work directly from this point. So now we're going to chain ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to work a half double crochet into our second chain from hook. So we're going to skip this first chain and we're going to work into the second chain. Yarn over the hook, insert your hook into that second chain from hook, and work a half double crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet in each of the next three chain. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that next chain, and work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert your hook into that next chain, and work a half double crochet. That's two yarn over the hook, insert it into that next chain, and work a half double crochet. That's three. Now we're going to half double crochet three together. So yarn over the hook, insert it into the next chain, yarn over the hook, and pull it through the chain, keeping all three loops on hook. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, Yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain, keeping all loops on hook. You now have five loops. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain, keeping all loops on hook. You have two, four, six, seven loops. Yarn over the hook and pull through all seven loops on your hook. You just made a half double crochet three together. We're going to half double crochet in each of the last two chain. So yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, 
yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook. You're going to go into the last chain of the chain 10 and work a half double crochet. So now to join our stem, we're going to half double crochet and slip stitch all in the same slip stitch where we joined our round. So yarn over the hook. You're going to go in that same stitch as your stitch marker and you're going to work a half double crochet. We're going to go into that same stitch that has the stitch marker where you started the round and you're going to slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. We're going to fasten off our work and then we just weave in our ends in the back of our dishcloth and then this is what your finished dishcloth will look like. So here is the finished four leaf clover dishcloth you just made and I'm showing the light colored one here as well just to show you the difference of the color. So I hope you had fun today making something festive for St. Patrick's Day and the four leaf clover. Bring some luck into your life. Make yourself a four leaf clover dishcloth. Thank you everyone for stopping by. I had fun making this cute little design and I hope you did as well. So please like, comment, and share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Happy crocheting everyone.